This is uh, my new cooler. Um, let's see if you can see that a bit better. Um, there we go. That's a, a, a Cooler Master uh, Hyper 103. And, um, I'm just going to be quiet for a little minute, but. Uh, it virtually makes no sound. It's a really quiet PC, this. Um, and it goes on properly. The other, the other uh, cooler I had was a Blizzard, Cooler Master Blizzard. The problem with that was I had to sort of mess around with it to get it to fit properly in the configuration that I've got it just now. I wanted it in a pool, so it's pulling the air right through the case. So you've got pulling in from the front and all the way right to the back. That's the way I wanted it to be. But the Blizzard would only fit um, with the fan sucking up from the, the uh, graphics card, the little video card, and that was no good. So I had to, well I bought this, I was going to buy the Evo 212 which would probably have been better because I could fit two fans on it then. I wanted to overclock a little bit, I'm waiting for some RAM coming, another 4 gigs of RAM before I do that. This motherboard won't let me overclock the CPU independently, it overclocks everything at the same time, so I haven't figured that bit out yet, unless there's, that's the way it is, it just overclocks everything, it just keeps everything on auto, um, you do the front side bus speed and then that's it. As you can see this is the uh, Cooler Master. Hyper 103, it's a really beautiful fan. The whole theme of this PC was white, and the fan came in blue, but it's actually worked out not too bad. It's quite nice. So I'll just go a wee bit closer so I can get it a wee bit closer. It's a nice looking thing. and it runs really quiet and it comes with a, a PWM, an auto speed uh, 4 pin jack so it just plugs straight into the, the 4 pin on the motherboard so it runs at the temperature of the system which is lovely so this is the Cooler Master Hyper 103